Next, we're going to start working on the floors for our apartment along with assigning some materials to these wall pieces. For the floors, I'm using this floor 400 by 400 piece still in the architecture folder. So I'm going to drag and drop it in here and then position it where I need it to be. Just above the floor like this. Okay, just make some adjustments here. And then to make a copy of this, we're going to Alt and drag. But you will notice a portion of this is sticking out the back here. So we're going to shift select both floor pieces and then just move them so that they line up perfectly with the wall. Same for the front of our apartment. For the third floor piece, I'm going to select this floor piece and Alt and drag. And repeat the same process for the final floor piece. With that complete, ensuring that none of the floor areas are kind of sticking out under our apartment, we are now ready to assign materials. Now you can use any of the previously mentioned techniques to assign materials. In my case, I'm going to be using drag and drop. So we're going to open the starter content folder and navigate over to materials. And in my case here, I can just drag and drop anyone that I want. I'm going to be using the brick clay beveled. Now you'd notice that every time you drag a material and drop it on a wall piece or a static mesh, the content browser kind of gets hidden. So I'm going to go and dock it in my layout, which is hopefully going to speed up things and make it slightly easier for me. Just drag this here, drag this here. And you can see very quickly we're able to go and texture all our wall pieces because they all line up and they all have the right scaling on them. Now for the floors, I'm going to be using um, maybe a wood material where the bed is going to be. So maybe something like this. And for the rest of our house, we can maybe go with a concrete material. So for the bathroom area, I will use this. And maybe for the rest of the house, we could use, mm, let's try this one. Yeah, this looks kind of interesting. Something like this. So we have a wood area and a concrete area along with where we're going to be building in our bathroom. So with that done, we've taken some early decisions about materials in our apartment. And in the next video, we're going to start populating it with furniture assets.